Got a few nights at a hip camp spot called Mountain View Camp. And I thought I'd give you a tour around. This is the entrance uh, to the property. And you can see there's these big stone pillars on the left and the right. And a pretty sharp bend coming up here. So if you do visit this place, which I recommend you visit it because it's a very nice place, make a nice wide arc so you could get your trailer through here. I almost, I almost hit one of those pillars coming in. Um, coming up this driveway, this wasn't paved before. It's recently been surfaced. So it is um, incredibly steep, but it's a nice asphalt pavement which makes it uh, pretty easy. I didn't have any trouble pulling my, uh, my trailer up here. You know how on video, nothing ever looks as steep as it is? That's the case here. Trust me, this is steep. I don't know what percent grade it is, but it's steep. Um, as long as you uh, go steady and don't go off to the left or the right, you'll be fine. I made it up, you can make it up too. So what makes this place special is it's very private. You wait till you see how much space I've got to myself up here. But there's also a network of trails. There's about three miles of hiking trails all throughout the property. I haven't gone um, along all these trails just yet. Uh, I hope to do that later on today or tomorrow morning. But you can see they're nice, well-maintained trails for someone's private property that he's sharing with other people. It's pretty cool. Other than my campsite, there's uh, one other place to rent here, and it's a cabin. Well, as much as you're going to see of it, there's some people staying there, so I'm not going to uh, go up there drive. But that's really it. Camp spot and one cabin. At the top of the hill, it looks like they're putting in another small cabin. And then there's another spot over here that's, uh, I guess, like another camping spot. But I know this isn't available to rent just yet. And then I believe this is why it's called Mountain View. I'm not sure how much of the mountains you'll be able to see in the summer, but uh, right now it's uh, the beginning of February. And uh, you can see them through the trees. It's very pretty. And then there's another little bit of trail that goes up here. I guess I'm really not at the top of the hill yet, but I'm, I'm as high up the hill as I need to go. So that's all the further I'm going today. And then here's my spot. Like I said, I got all this to myself. And as a carport, kind of hard to call this camping. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. There's another trail that goes up there. But just to give you a look around of my spot here, there's no one at all anywhere. That's the top of the hill, or well, at least as far up as I came. That's the road we are walking up. So quite a bit of space. It's very nice, very quiet. The night was especially quiet. Yeah, this place has a hot tub. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's not really camping if there's a hot tub involved. But um, I didn't go in it. I'm not much of a hot tub guy, but it's pretty cool that they include that. And then I got a full carport, picnic table under the carport, um, enough space for my camper and my truck, which is really, uh, really pushing the limits of camping. I mean, this is almost just like being at home, to be honest. It's just prettier and quieter than at home. Really nice fire pit. Burned a lot of wood last night. That was very nice. And then you got this whole yard all to yourself. There's a slope here, but once you go over that slope, it's still, there's grass down there. So you've got, I don't know, this is about as much, as much yard as most people have at their houses. And you got it all to yourself here. And then there's nothing beyond all those trees. Ricky's been liking it. He gets to uh, smell all kind of different stuff. And uh, once I'm up here at my site, I don't even have to put him on a leash because there's no one around. Very, very nice. So they give you 50 amp and 20 amp connections and water. Um, there's no uh, 30 amp connection, but they did include the adapter. So that's kind of nice. Uh, my camper takes 30 amps, so I was able to use the adapter and it worked just fine. And like I said, there's water, but there's no sewage hookups. So you're on your own as far as your waste tanks are concerned. But they give you all kind of extra stuff. There's a little barbecue, there's a dog bed for outside, dog dish. Um, there's free firewood included chairs. Like I said, it's, it's a really nice little spot. Here's a map they have for the trail system that's right here in the campground, I guess. They call it Indian Creek Trails. Um, you can see there's quite a bit. I mean, I'm hoping if the weather holds up, I can do some walking along these trails tonight or tomorrow. 
I know it's definitely supposed to rain tomorrow, so we'll see. I go back on Sunday, the day after tomorrow. So in addition to the trails that are just part of this campsite, um, there's a ton and ton and ton and ton of trails all around here. Here's a view of the mountains from the, the yard of the campsite itself. So you can see they're off in the distance. It's overcast, but it's still pretty. I'll include some uh, some photos here so you can see what uh, some of the waterfalls are like that we visited earlier. There's waterfalls everywhere. Uh, every trail you go on, you're going to see two or three waterfalls. Um, I'll do a whole separate video with waterfalls, but I'll put a couple pictures in here so you can take a look. Um, very nice, though. I would definitely recommend this uh, this space. It's it's like basically the same price you pay for a campground in most cases. Maybe slightly more, but not not so much more that you'd even really notice if you're only here for a few nights. And he's a thirsty pup. This camper has been great also. I say it every time. I'm very, very happy with this thing. It's been a very comfortable place. <laughs> you got your big old face there. It's been a very comfortable place to come back to um, after a long day of walking around the woods. All right, I'm ending this video now. Look at his tail wagging at the bottom of the screen. He's so weird. Look at him. Yeah, anyways, thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.